I've tried many types of genetic tests. I even had my genome sequenced by Donta Labs about two years ago. And now the company offered me some new insights, some new packages about the same data. So I asked, why not using the raw DNA data they already have about me? Then they told me, because they have a new collection kit called Tasso. And I've been doing videos and articles about Tasso, so I had to give it a try. This is a blood collection device that can even be used in clinical trials. And it collects really small samples of dried blood. Actually, four times 17.5 microliter of dried blood. I asked the company Donta Labs and they confirmed that this quantity is enough and even the kind of sample they can obtain is also enough to obtain enough genomic DNA so they can do the analysis and give me some insights about my lifestyle, nutrition, genomic background, my risks for conditions, and so on. As usual, we never accept any kind of payment or sponsorship, so we only need a device to test and the company will see the video and the article review when you do. So let's see how the Tussle blood collection device works. All right, first thing first, I have to rub my arm like this for 30 seconds to make it a bit warmer and I guess uh, to make blood flow a bit more dynamic. And after 30 seconds, I will just get this alcohol prep and on a small side, I will clean my skin before putting the device on. I think that should be enough. I'm not nervous at all. Now I have to peel this one, open that one and hope for the best. I push it for two seconds, wait, and then I release it. Okay, let's see. Hurt a little bit, but it's fine. It's absolutely beatable. And now we have to wait for five minutes until enough sample is being taken. If you want to, you will see that those capillaries will be filled with my blood sample and then it will be, it will become a dried blood sample after that, after I unpeeled this last part here, before I put it into the package to send it back to the company. So now we wait five minutes. See you in five minutes. About five minutes have passed and I've been seeing that the capillaries have been filled in with my blood sample, but I think we are out of time, we are done. I will remove it. There might be two blood patches. If you are sensitive to it, please close your eyes for the next few seconds. Okay, I just remove it like this. One, two, nothing extraordinary. I even got this from the company just to finish the process like it was intended to be finished. Pam pam. We are done. As soon as the results are back, of course I will let you know. For now, one thing I still have to do is unpeel this. Yes. And put it into the package so we can send it back. Done. See you soon, where I will share my results with you. After four weeks, Medanta Labs informed me that my reports are ready. I could access them on the online dashboard and I could even see what kind of other reports I could buy. But for now, I focused on those four reports I received from them. And I thought I would highlight a few things I found interesting for you about my health and, and clinical insights. In the health and disease risk report, I found that I have no elevated risk for Parkinson's disease stuff. I also found that I have no increased risk for insulin resistance, which actually runs in my family. Again, good stuff. But my genetic risk or predisposition to obesity is higher than in the average population. I'm aware of that. It again runs in my family. That's why I exercise five times a week and I've been quite fine-tuning my diet for decades. In the Advanced Wellness and Lifestyle report, I found some interesting things, such as I have a risk for blood flow and predisposition to headaches, while I never have headaches. It's like this exactly shows why genetics loads the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. I might have a predisposition genetically to a certain condition or insight, 
But if I don't live like that, if I have a different lifestyle, it might never manifest in my life. I have a risk for photic sneeze, meaning if I look into the sun, I have a higher chance for sneezing. Okay, that's true. Uh, and I have an elevated risk for motion sickness. I never have motion sickness, not even in cars, not even by using virtual reality. So it's uh, quite strange. But based on my genetic report, the caffeine has quite an improved effect on my sleep. I'm aware of that. That's why I never drink coffee after 2, 3 p.m. My memory abilities are improved. That's why I can remember all the FC Barcelona players from the last 30 years. And I have a genetic predisposition to eat when under stress. I don't think I do that, but it's good to be aware of it. In the fitness report, I found that, as I found it in many other genetic tests I've had before, that my body is hardwired for sprints, for dynamic athletic abilities, and not for long distance running. This report again confirmed that notion that that's why I hate running. It's just not for my body. If I can sprint 20, 30 times shorter distances, I'm all in for that. But to go out for a 10K, maybe twice a year and I celebrate it after I finish. I have a risk though for knee osteoarthritis and I have been dealing with some knee problems recently, especially after starting playing baseball in the second national league. And in the fourth report called the Nutrigenetic Report, I found out that um, I have some ca caffeine sensitivity, meaning I metabolize it uh, faster than others, but I have no alcohol or lactose sensitivity. It's really good to know. So that's all. There are hundred more things in these reports, but these are the ones I wanted to highlight for you. The summary is that Donta Labs again analyzed my genome. They gave me these reports about my predispositions and risks to certain conditions or lifestyle insights so I can better adjust my lifestyle, my exercise routine, even my diet. But what I loved about this was the sampling process. The Tasso device was great at collecting blood samples at home. And I think that's the one thing I will bring home with me from this review process. And the Tasso device will be used by, I think, thousands, if not millions of patients to take part in clinical trials while still staying at home. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching this review and see you at the next review coming quite soon. Cheers. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.